News at 10 starts now. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. Team coverage of how the pandemic is affecting schools in the upstate. Beginning with 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell with the options Greenville County is already preparing for the fall. The school district's virtual program will now be available to kids ages K through 12. And based on the results of a survey the district put out, it seems like this could be a popular option in the fall. Of about 25,000 parents who took a Greenville County Schools survey, 12% said they are not sending their children back to the classroom this fall. 43% said they're not sure if their child will return because of COVID-19. Marin Spencer says she falls into that unsure category. We don't know yet. The district's director of communication says the virtual program this fall will include live streamed face-to-face -face instruction. It will have teachers who are presenting live lessons in some cases. In many cases, the teachers may pre-record a short lesson for some of the students while they work live in small groups with others, which is not that different from a real classroom. She says students in the virtual program will be held accountable and expected to keep up at the same pace as students learning in person. There'll be tests, there'll be work to be turned in, there'll be homework, there'll be daily interaction with teachers just like there is in the classroom. It'll be very different than e-learning was in an emergency situation. Students will also be able to switch between in-person and online online learning this fall and the goal is to make those transitions seamless. As for in-person learning, will things be different from how they normally are? Well, we don't know that yet, but I would say that there is a good chance that they will be different somehow. The district says it will release more information about the virtual program, including details on how to enroll on July 6th. In Greenville, and Maxwell, 7 News. All right, and thanks. The district says it will provide Chromebooks and software for the students who do learn virtually.